Hi, welcome to my sixth uh, edition of David Ardmore Collector. And um, what I have in front of me today is a book. This book is very important because it outlines the history of Ardmore from when it started in 1985 till the, when the book was published in 1998. And if anybody wants to know it, anything about the artist, the early days and how the, the company started, this is the book to have um, for those early days. And uh, I, I, I'm not going to give you talk all about how the company was fun, founded, etc. Get the book and read about it yourself. It's a good investment for the interested collector. On the cover, there is somebody called Bonnie. Bonnie and Chinchali Shali. And um, she was the first person who joined Faye uh, to start uh, her pottery business, which at the beginning wasn't to be a pottery business, but Bonnie was the person who came along. Uh, Bonnie was um, born in 1967. At unfortunately, the age of um, six, she contracted polio and spent four years in hospital. Um, living in the rural environment, there was not an awful lot for uh, women to do uh, to um, generate income. But Bonnie joined, and she was one of those that helped with Faye to develop this philosophy where the Girls could come on board initially, they could make stuff and generate an income. Anyway, this is the book. Um, there are many pictures in the back of her work. I'm not going to take it. Let's just say her work is uh, very difficult to find. And I have in my possession just one piece that was painted by her. So I'll get that out now. So um, my executive producer... Flat Eric has tidied himself up since our last edition, and this rather large water jug is the only piece that I have that was actually painted uh, by Bonnie. Um, it is beautifully made by a lady called Beauty. She was a sculptor, and Beauty, incidentally, was the, I think she was the seventh employee to join Faye, and uh, she was born in '65 and joined Ardwar in 68. So it's a large piece. As you can see, it's about 14 inches uh, tall. And uh, and as you can have a look, it's the thing, I'll, I'll bring it a bit closer in a minute because the birds, for example, the zebra and the foliage is all sculpted onto the outside of the piece to give it a, a, a decent depth. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, there we are. Look at that. We've got the flowers painted on, the flowers protruding, the little birds here on the side, flowers, and then the zebra with this, the head coming out. And we can see the zebra's head coming out there. There is some uh, surface damage on here, on the handles, where a little bit of the glaze has come off, and I will have that um, uh, repaired. So... Um, so those people, the, the porcelain people, you know, who go around nibbling at pieces to try and find it'll get, uh, something wrong, uh, they'll be satisfied. But I'll, I'll do something about the uh, porcelain nibblers at, a, at another stage. Uh, this is the piece. You can see it's a wide rimmed and on the base. We'll take her over and you can see where it says made by a beauty and painted by Bonnie. To me, it's a, a precious piece because it has an association with Bonnie. The and bring it closer again so you can see the zebra's head protruding there, and you can see the heads of the birds and the flowers all coming out in relief around here. I can see them here. There we are. If you've got any pieces by Bonnie, I'd love to see them. So, um, you know, just get, get in touch with me through Instagram, Facebook, or indeed YouTube. Just send me a message. Um, my intention not to buy any more to sort of um, I say a support group to help me not buy stuff has actually failed. Um, I, I, a strange looking rhino teapot turned up in the post the other day, and I don't know how that happened, but I'm going to blame the executive producer. As you can see, he's sitting quietly at the back there today, not, not in getting too involved. Anyway, that's all for today. 
I'm going to probably do something more modern next time. One of the pieces I bought when I visited the Cape Town shop in November last year. Um, but uh, I'll, I'm going to do about one a week probably. Uh, I hope you're enjoying them. Bye.